What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Ray the Flying Squirrel from Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's begin today's lesson by drawing the nose on the top right side of our page. So we're going to start from the very top, we're going to draw an oval. Went all the way around and back up towards the top. Let's draw another oval, a smaller one along the top, and then we'll fill in the bottom of the nose. Now from here we're going to draw on the left side of the muzzle. Let's start from the left side of the nose. Start with the curve going out and then down. And then we'll bend this back up and out towards the side. Let's round up the side of the muzzle, coming around and then in towards the bottom of the head. Now I'm going to go to the top right side, round up the muzzle going out and then back in. Let's close off the bottom of the head. Starting on the left, we come down and we'll bend that up towards the right. Let's place the mouth inside the muzzle. Starting over on the left, start with the curve coming down, and we'll bend that up. Let's add a small bracket on the left side. Now going back to the corner of the mouth, let's draw the bottom coming down, and just tuck that up underneath the mouth. And then from the top, curve out and bend down for the tongue, and then we'll fill in the right side. With the muzzle in place, let's move up and draw on the eyes. Let's start directly above the nose, starting right here. Start with the curve going up. I'm going to round out the eye, come down, and then in on top of the muzzle. Let's round out the bottom of the brow, coming down. Bend that out towards the right. Now we tuck the side of the eye underneath the brow. So we're going to step in, curve the eye going out, down, and then back in and I'll push the pupils towards the left side. To start on the top, we're gonna draw an oval, going all the way down towards the bottom, and back up towards the top. Let's draw a smaller oval on the right side, starting up here, come down towards the nose, and back up. Let's add a small circle along the top of each eye, the highlight, and then we'll fill in the bottom of the eye. Let's add a thick brow above the eyes. Starting on the left side, we're just going to curve this up and then bend that down. Let's line this up over on the right. We're just going to curve it around the eye, come down, and just blend that in. Let's place the ear on the left side, directly above the brow. We're just going to curve the ear going up and then out, come down the side, and then back in. And then we'll trace the ear along the inside. Starting across the bottom, going across the top, and it'll connect the ends with a curve. Let's tuck the left side of the head underneath the ear. So we step up, just gonna round up the head, come down, and then in towards the side of the muzzle. Let's go back up to the top of the ear and draw in the hair. We're gonna start up here, curve this up, and then across and then taper that back down toward the top of the head. Let's add another point tucked in behind. So we step up, draw a short curve going out, and then come down and bend that out towards the right. Let's round up the top of the head going across, and then we'll bend that down on top of the brow. Let's tuck the back ear in behind the head. Start with the curve going up and out, around and then back in. Now we're going to draw a character with the arms stretched out to the side. So let's start on the left side with the thumb. Starting right up here beside the head, curve this out and then in. Round up the tip of the thumb, go around and then back in. Now we'll add the palm, going out and then down. From the outside of the thumb, let's add a fold, going out and then down. And then we'll draw on three fingers. We'll start from the top of the thumb, going out and up, round up the finger, and come down towards that fold. 
Let's add another finger. Starting from the top, going up, come down, and then in. And add two more fingers. Going around, and then down. And then along the side, add the fourth finger coming down towards the bottom. I'm just going to pull that in towards the palm. And we'll make our way up towards the bottom of the thumb. Just rounding this out. Now we're going to layer the cuff in behind the hand. Let's start from the bottom, come all the way around the inside, and go out in behind the hand. And do that one more time. Coming down, up, and then back out. From the top of the cuff, we're going to curve the arm coming down and then in behind the head. And step down, draw the bottom of the arm on that same curve coming in. Now from the inside of the arm, we're going to step out and round out the body, going out and then in towards the leg. Let's layer the leg on top of the body. From the bottom, we're going to step up, put this down, and then bend that out towards the ankle. Now we're going to layer the cuff on top of the ankle, starting from the top, curve down, and then in. From the bottom, we're going to step up, we're going to follow that same curve, coming in and then up towards the body. Now we're going to wrap the cuff around the ankle. From here, we're going to step in, go up around that fold, and bend that down. From the bottom, come down, and then up. Let's go back to the top on the outside, throw the cuff going around toward the bottom, and just tuck that up underneath. And now we're going to layer the foot in behind the cuff. Let's start from the very top, go up towards the heel, come down, and then across. Round up the toe, going up, and then pull that in behind the cuff. Let's add a thick sole along the outside. Start from the heel, just follow that curve, come all the way down. I'm just going to blend this down towards the bottom of the foot. Let's add some detail to the shoe. Starting up here, we start with an oval. I'm going to add a curve across the foot. Start from the outside, come down, and then up. Step down and draw that again. Let's close off the end with the curve. Let's repeat that same shape down below. So start with that top curve, step down, draw that again, and then close off the left side. Now with that leg in place, let's move up and draw the right side of the body. We start underneath the head, so we curve the body going out, come down, and just tuck that in behind the leg. Let's add that patch in the center of the body. Starting underneath the head, we're going to draw an oval. Coming down towards the bottom, and then back up. Now you want to bend the right leg in behind the body. You can slap the top of the leg, and go out, and then down towards the knee. Round up the knee, and then pull that back in. Let's move in and draw that same shape. Going out towards the inside of the knee, and down, and then out. And then we'll overlap that same fold across the bottom of the leg. Coming down and then across. Let's add that first fold, stepping up, going up and then down, and coming down and up along the bottom. Let's go back up to the top on the left, round up the bottom of the cuff, and then pull that up. Now going to the left side of the cuff, we're going to curve the heel going out and then down towards the bottom of the foot. Come down and then bend that out. Round up the toe, go up and just pull that in behind the cuff. Let's add a thick sole on the bottom. Stepping up, we'll follow that same curve going all the way across towards the toe. Let's add that same detail on the right foot. Starting from the ankle, draw an oval. And then from the bottom of the cuff, start with that first curve. Step down, draw that again, and then close off the left side. Let's leave a gap and do that again. And now we're going to draw on the right arm. Let's lamp the bottom over on the right side, curve the arm going out, and then up towards the wrist. And just like we did with the ankle, we're going to add a fold. From this point, step down, curve up and bend that in towards the head. 
and then step down, draw the top of the arm going in behind the hand. Let's add in that first fold. Stepping in, going around that fold, up and in behind the head. From the bottom, we'll do that again. Now from the bottom of the cuff, we're drawing the thumb. Going out and then up, then the thumb going out towards the end. Let's round up the tip of the thumb, coming in and then down. Now we want to bend the fingers going up. From the thumb, step in, going out and up towards the first finger. Round this out, come down and then bend that in. Let's add three more fingers. From the top, going up, down and then in. Add the third finger. And then the fourth finger, pull this in towards the cuff. Now with the arms in place, let's draw in the wings. Starting from the cuff, I'm just gonna curve this down and then in towards the side of the body. Go over towards the right, come down and bend that in. And then from the bottom of the left wing, curve the tail, going out and then we'll bend that up, round up the tail and then pull that back in. Now the tail is gonna get narrower as we come back in towards the body. We'll come down towards the bottom, just gonna narrow this out, and pull that in, and there we have it. There's a drawing of Ray the Flying Squirrel. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and if you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I wanna thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.